It is the bear 465. We are in a uh, what power level is this one? I forget. 132. I wanted to re rescue the rescue the survivors. And I wanted to come in here and kind of talk about the difference in the gas trap and kind of what they did with it since we're always talking about trap tunnels and stuff like that. And gas trap is a very, very, very good tool to use as long as you use it properly. So gas trap used to be the king of traps. For the longest time, we used gas traps everywhere, right? Let's see how effective it can be against these 132s here. So we have power, we have a 130 full perk up. And you can see it's not having that much of an effect on them. Even as that survivor leads them over here. You can see it's not having the greatest effect on them, right? Now, the reason why it's not having the, the best effect is... Oh my god, these things are so loud. Is because there's nothing to slow them down or hold them underneath it. Oh my god, there's another one. So anyway, there's nothing to hold them underneath it. So in order for the gas trap to be effective in today's game, as far as today is March you know, 2021, in order for it to be effective, you need to have something to place underneath the gas trap. So when the husks come through it, it holds them there or slows them down. Something as efficient as a tar pit or a floor, floor spike. Something to slow them down. So let's find... Let's find another set here. Somebody else to pick on. Now I'm not going to use that encampment because when they do uh, spawn, it will just, I mean, it will just blow it up. So, all right. So let's use this tunnel for instance. So we have four spikes. And I'm stuck in this box. I want to go over here, please. Thanks. All right. So at the beginning of our of our floor spikes. If you have something to slow the husk down, the gas trap is much more effective. It can really do its job. Or even a tar pit where he gets stuck underneath it for a second 
and allows the gas to take effect. Ow. <laughs> but as you can see, the gas is actually affecting him. Because he's being held under it for a second. So it is a lot better. And actually, it's the only way to use a gas trap. As long as you actually have a way of holding them or slowing them down. All right, let's look at another one. I need those planks, by the way. I don't really want to show an encampment because whenever they spawn, it explodes, and then we'll be wasting all that stuff. Let's go to here. All right, so if I set up a gas trap, here, here, and here, also, they're very effective. One floor tile up. But of course, you run the risk of propane's blowing them up, only being one tile up. All right, let's grab these guys over here, make them come over. All right, so as they enter in the first, the very first one, they might get hit a little bit, but it's not really gonna stop them. But it's the act of being able to slow them down. Or hold them underneath. In order to make the gas more effective. So when you do make your trap tunnels. You want to keep that in mind that you want to be able to hold your husks underneath or stall them underneath in order for the gas trap to take effect. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like. Um, I have a awesome supporter creator code, the Bear465. Feel free to use it in the item shop, Battle Royale, or in Save the World. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day and enjoy your evening all right go out there have fun